can use the calendar view for managing or creating autoresponders. And you can see it's super handy by just highlighting uh, over different days in the calendar view to be able to have your additional options for that day, whether it's adding a new autoresponder to it or editing an existing autoresponder. And just to clarify, the calendar day simply means the day of subscription for the contact on your list. So you can see most calendars, of course, don't start with a zero because day zero right here actually refers to the same day that someone signs up to join your mailing list. And then all subsequent days after that are just days of their subscription. So day one is the day after someone signs up to your list and day 37 is 37 days after they've signed up. So that's how you can kind of create and think about these cycles perhaps if you'd like to create cycles of messages and content to deliver. And so the calendar view is very handy because it helps you really kind of lay out that journey of content that your contact can get. And then it's easy to add new messages to your cycle by simply clicking on that day. And you can see it brings up the create autoresponder view where you can actually go ahead and create an additional autoresponder for that day. But I'll go back. And you'll also see that if you actually wanted to move around and change the timing for some messages you've already created, you can just simply drag and drop a message from day seven to day six, for example. So it's really easy uh, you know, and intuitive to be able to navigate around the calendar by just simply dragging and dropping uh, messages within the calendar, creating new messages from the calendar, or editing an additional, an existing uh, message by turning a autoresponder on or off and also having the editing options for uh, a message that's already created, you know, editing it, reusing it, sending yourself a test message, checking out the preview or deleting uh, the particular message. You can also choose to show more days and lots more days. You can create some very, very long journeys uh, with, a, with your contacts you can see here. And so you can uh, really foresee out quite far into the future for the type of content you want to plan for your contacts to receive. And it's all really handy to manage within the calendar view for your autoresponders.